Hey, hello everyone. This is Victor Momo from Excel Moments. And somebody asked me today, says, Victor, how can I insert two blank rows in between every row of data here? So after John, I need to have two blank rows, right? Then James, then I have two blank rows. Okay, seems like, you know, I'm getting, you know, a hang of it. But if I have like 500 rows of data, that's probably not the way I want to go. And I thought to myself, oh, okay, I've seen this done before by the great Bob Umlas. So I thought, okay, why not I do a video, you know, just to show you what I showed him. <laughs> okay, so what we are going to do is very simple. We are just going to take advantage of, you know, sorting. Okay, and somebody's like, sorting, how is that going to work? Just watch it. So what we are going to do is... Because I want to insert, um, you know, two rows, two blank rows, I'm going to create a sequence here, you know, one, two, three, up to the last row of data here. I think I'm just using about 20 rows of data. Uh, but Boomlas also shows a trick for this. Normally, if you want to create that sequence, you would say one, two, you know, select both and drag down. Or you could do one, double click, and then say fill series. What Bob does is one, and then he selects, you know, a column to the right, and then he double clicks. How or why it works, I really don't know, but it does. <laughs> so that's how he does it. Okay, so once you've selected this, you select the entire data, copy, go to the bottom, paste again the same sequence, go to the bottom, paste again the same sequence. I'm pasting it twice here just because I want to insert two blank rows. If I wanted to insert three blank rows, I'll paste it three times. So what am I going to do now? You can see that I have number one here. Then somewhere else here, I have another number one. And somewhere again, I have another number one. The other two number ones, you know, are blank rows, right? So this one is blank. The one just here too is also blank. The one here is the first row here. So if I sort this data using this column I have, and I say sort ascending, for example, what's going to happen? One, 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 two, 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 three, three, three. That's the sequence you're going to have. So meaning that this row that I have one here, the next row I'm going to have is the next row that has one, which is going to be a blank row. The next row will be the next row where I have one somewhere to the bottom, right? Okay, where I have, you know, one again. So I'm going to have those blanks and that's what's going to happen. So it's very simple. So now that you're here, you can just do what? Sort ascending. Shortcut for that is Alt Alpha Syria Alpha. Alt A S E. And you see what has happened because it's brought the ones together, you know, it's brought the twos together. You now have those two blank rows in between the data. And once you're done with that, you can delete column F. So you could have done the same for maybe four, you know, or five rows if you needed to do that. And that's a faster way than having to go, you know, um, row by row and then inserting all of that. I mean, if you don't want to use VBA, for example. So just something I thought to share, how to insert X, you know, blank rows in between your data. Really nice. And uh, thanks to Bob for this trick. <laughs> All right. So if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. You can also subscribe to the channel Excel Moment. For now, you know, I'm out.